Welcome to the Awingu 4.3 Environment Rundown. In this video, I'll guide you through the demo environment and the end-user experience of our latest version, Awingu 4.3. You can request a trial account on our website to test everything that you will see in the next few minutes out for yourself. Once you've registered your trial account, visit demo.awingu.com. Now, it speaks for itself that both the login screen and the actual environment are completely rebrandable, so that the end user will think of the solution as the workspace of my company, rather than a Wingu. To log in, you simply fill in your credentials and you can sign in to the demo version of our platform. It's important to note that we have disabled multi-factor authentication in our demo environment to make it more accessible for you, but we have a built-in out-of-the-box MFA solution that can be used with, for example, Google or Microsoft Authenticator. And furthermore, we support any industry standard form of MFA, such as tokens, SMS passcode, etc. Including time-based passwords. By the way, it's now also possible to log in via single sign-on with an external identity provider. Once logged in, you'll see that Owingu's user interface is very straightforward. On the left-hand side, you see a sidebar that is partially or even fully collapsible, which features three tabs. Your workspace, your files and your applications. Clicking your username in the bottom left corner allows you to check your connection quality, edit your account settings such as interface language, keyboard layout, etc. Do a browser check and enable guided tours to help you get used to the environment. You can also choose to open your session in full screen, which is especially useful when you're working on a device with a smaller screen. Let's go over the tabs. Firstly, your workspace. This one features your favorited applications and bookmarked files to optimize your productivity. Clicking the Application tab brings up a list of all published applications that you have been granted access to. You can view them in grid or in list view, and even divide them into categories. Clicking on the Info button right here opens up the Properties tab, and that includes a direct link to the application that you can use as, for example, a bookmark or a shortcut to immediately open that specific application in a Wingu without having to go through the selection process in the Application tab. For the sake of demonstration, I will open up one of the legacy applications that's installed on our platform, the famous AS400 by IBM. And as you can see, it opens and works seamlessly and without any delay, exactly like it would if I were to open the AS400 that is installed on my machine. This geometrical shape right here is our polygon, the navigation tool within a Wingu. And when clicked upon, you're introduced to several options. Firstly, you can enable or disable the keyboard shortcuts that you see in the top right corner. A lot of legacy programs still use function keys or combinations to perform a certain action. And this serves as a pre-configured one-click keyboard combo. Not very spectacular, admittedly, when you're working on a laptop or a desktop, since you can just use your keyboard. But pressing Ctrl plus F3 on a tablet is of course somewhat of a different story. Secondly, you can also choose to share your session. I'll talk more about that later. Thirdly, you can close the session, which terminates your current application session. Fourthly, you can choose to open the session in a new window, which is especially handy if you're working with multiple screens, so you can virtually run an infinite amount of sessions next to each other. But if that's not enough, you can also use our newly introduced Display Manager that allows you to use multiple physical monitors within the same application session. Check out our Owingu 4.3 feature overview for a thorough demonstration of this. By popular demand, Owingu 4.3 also introduces the option to hide the polygon. By hiding the navigation tool, you have the entire screen of the application to yourself for optimal productivity. As an alternative, we have now enabled contact menus on the application sessions in the sidebar, which gives you the exact same options as the polygon does. I'll also open up a newer piece of software, Microsoft Excel 2016. And as you can see, it also opens and works without any delay and it feels just like I'm working in the Excel that is installed on my device. To improve collaboration, let's share this session. And when doing that, Owingu will generate a unique URL which writes I can configure, for example, is the session only accessible within my domain or outside of it as well? Who gets to control the session? Do we protect it with a password or not? And then you can send that generated URL to a colleague or whoever you're sharing the session with. 
he or she then has to fill in their name and they will get a stream of what is happening in the original session. They can even request control of the session and make remote collaborations easier than ever before. We often hear that printing is a real struggle within RDP solutions. And at Awingu, we've come up with the virtual printer that generates a PDF file in a new local tab. In that way, you can print to any printer of which the drivers are installed on your device or that are in the network. And you are then, in fact, printing locally directly from your device. The great thing about the sidebar is that it functions just like a taskbar of the operating system that you're using. You can seamlessly switch between application sessions just like you would by clicking on your taskbar to switch between programs. To make sure you're not missing out on anything, you can also allow a notification to pop up when an action happens within a tabbed out session. For example, when you get an email in your email client. Next to application sessions, you also have the possibility to reverse proxy your internal websites, such as your intranet, your internal CRM or your SharePoint, and you can make them available from the cloud through Owingu. You can even enable single sign-on for these reverse proxied web applications. Lastly, we also provide users the possibility to stream a full desktop via a published VDI application, if they really feel the need to do so. Let's go to the final tab, the Files tab. And that one features a built-in file explorer, which is linked to your file servers and cloud storage. You can easily find the files you need in two ways. You can either favorite them, which makes them appear in the secondary navigation bar and in the workspace, or by using the in-folder search, which is located in the action bar. The administrator has thorough control over which user or user group has access to what drive or folder, and he can even decide on the permissions per action a user has per file. An important action is downloading, for example. More and more, administrators are disabling this on every level to avoid any form of local data copies. You can choose to do any of those actions on any number of files within the same folder you want, by the way. And recently, we've also introduced context menus. So now you can simply right-click on a file and have a list of actions that you can perform, much like in most native operating systems file explorers. Next to session sharing, we also provide the option to share your files. And doing that will once again generate a unique URL that is configurable. Firstly, you can set an expiration date, which will lead to a 404 when the URL is clicked after that set time. Secondly, you can choose whether the receiver gets to see the file in a PDF reader in the browser, or if he or she can download the source file, a .powerpointx file in this case. Thirdly, you can choose to make the link only accessible to specific logged in users, on the domain of your company, or on any network. And lastly, just like with sharing application sessions, you can choose to protect the share link with a password or not. This link can, in its turn, again be shared with whomever has to receive the file. And users can easily check which files they have shared and make the link invalid, update the expiration time or update the link entirely, which will give the person who clicks the link the most recent version of the file it's referring to. If you're an administrator, you'll be happy to know that we have extended auditing capabilities via our dashboard. You can find more information about that via the links in the description of this video. By the way, if you visit awingu.com slash try, you also have the possibility to download our Getting Started guide and deploy an environment with two concurrent users in your own backend to try out the functionalities in your specific environment with your specific applications for your specific needs. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate and reach out to us.